Hello and welcome to Lodges Now. Paulette Bernard here from the 65th Force Support Squadron, coming to you as always from the wonderful Cafe Bean. And today our guest is Carly Swinson. Welcome, Carly. Hi. <laughs> and um, you work over at the Atlantic Island Kennels. I do. And you are an animal caretaker. Mm -hmm. And you all do such wonderful work over there, Thank I, and you. I can, and I know when I go over there <laughs> that you really care for animals. We do. Yeah. We, we love it. Um, it's a great job. Thank you. And in addition to that, you are an artist. I am. And that, yes. that's why we invited you here today to talk with us about your art and what it means to you. Yeah. And you are a, um, what is it? A it's mixed it, media. Mixed yes. media, okay. Mixed media is, um, it's 2D, so it's painting, printmaking, drawing. So tell us about your, your work. Um, well, I've been, I've been into mixed media work since college. Um, so that's about eight years now. Okay. Um, it's a lot of incorporating things together, gluing. Um, I use a lot of found objects, um, paper, photography, uh, some of my own sketches I can include into it, um, papers, inks. It's, it's messy, but that's okay because I have a studio floor that I just work on. And um, it's just very tactile and messy and um, just very genuine art. Genuine like just, art. Very hands-on. Very hands-on. Um, I encourage my artwork to be touched because I think that's part of it. As long as people are gentle, I mean, that's a right, whole, you're adding a whole extra, um, I Experience guess, sensory, yes, you know. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think art should provoke a response in people. Um, and, and then that means you're doing it right, I guess. Because um, the thing is, everybody has their own associations with whatever they're looking at. And it might not be exactly what the artist intended, but I think that's the beauty of it is because you you get whatever, I mean, you're putting something new into the world that didn't exist before, and now people are able to take that and, and they get their own impact from it. And um, yeah, I think that that's what's amazing about it. That must be an incredible feeling to bring something new into the world. I, I like the way that you <laughs> phrase that. Well, because I mean, it is a creation. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's the same thing. Like if somebody writes a song, like that song didn't exist until you made it. Um, and and I guess that's one thing I do try to consider with my artwork is because um, I like to I like it to be thought provoking. But the thing is, the world has a lot of awful things in it already right. that are worth noting and they're worth considering but I don't want my art to just be dark and dreary and you know here's global warming and right. there's wars you know so um, if it can be aesthetically pleasing while still um, helping the viewer to think about some of those things and maybe consider their role in society so your then art, it's your working. Art, your art has it, has a lot of layers, both literally <laughs> and figuratively. Yes, I like that. I like that. Yeah, right, it is. Right. Well, well, tell me, Carly, um, what motivates you to, to be an artist? I mean, are, are there certain times of, of the day that you feel more creative, or is it a mood, or what? What is it? Um, I think it's it's more of a mood because I will go for a few weeks and not do much. Um, but then there'll be sometimes I just wake up in the morning and spend the next four hours in my studio just, I mean, starting four or five different canvases at a time because especially with this, you have to put things aside so they can dry before you do the next layer. Um, so I'll definitely work on several pieces at once. But, um, you know, there's other times I'll get into it in the evening and, you know, just mm -hmm. after dinner, I just take off to the studio and, um, so I mean, it's definitely a mood thing. It's just whenever it strikes me, it strikes. Now, d does your art reflect the, the mood that you're in? And can you share a little bit about that with us? Yeah, um, I think it does. Every now and then I'll be working on um, like cohesive bodies of work that you submit um, to exhibitions. Um, so those will usually have a theme that are more, um, more developed. So it's not as much just kind of, um, you know, spontaneity of emotions. But then other times, uh, you know, it's just how you feel and, you know, if it's a bright sunny day out and things are beautiful, then it's usually a lot of yellows and oh, right. kind of cheerful things like right. birds show up a lot. Um, <laughs> right. You know, but then um, especially like when I lived in England, 
is a wonderful country, but it is a little drearier. And I've definitely seen the difference in my work, just how the sunlight and the weather affects my mood. And my work from England it tends to be a lot more kind of grays and blues mm -hmm. and just slightly more somber, um, where I did a whole series since I've been on to Sarah, and it was at the Airman Family Readiness Center. Um, and it's very tropical, and there's oh, a, lot of, okay. a lot of fish, sun, oceans, waves. Right. I mean, I think you can't help but be here and be inspired by how beautiful <laughs> it is, Absol really. Absolutely. So um, I've definitely seen that in my work. Right. Um, so those are the um, sort of the external factors yes, yes. That, that motivate your work. Is there anything internally that, that also motivates Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Um, you know, when things are going well, it's very easy to make just art just to make art, just for the enjoyment of the process. But in turn, you know, if I'm upset about something in my family, um, just general turmoil about life or whatever, um, you know, it, it serves as a great creative outlet and it's, it's therapeutic and especially if I have um, just difficult situations like uh, my past job, not here, I love working here. <laughs> Um, but I've had some past work experiences that took me some time to get over and um, you know just some some difficulty from my youth and my art has really provided an outlet to um, to explore those feelings um, you know gain gain a sense of closure and a oh. sense of healing from it and it's really healthy I think because it, it gives you that tangible um, you, know, you can see it. I mean, it gives you something that you can be like, okay, I've dealt with this, it's visible, it's here, and then it kind of gets it out. It gets the angst of whatever that trouble is out. And I think that that's kind of healthy for everyone because, I mean, everybody has some creative yes. outlet in them, whether, whether they're willing to explore it or really acknowledge that they have that passion for writing or a passion for music. Um, everybody has that, and it's worth exploring. I think people should play artistically in whatever form they see fit because it is really, um, it's just healthy. I mean, we're all creative beings in the world and uh, whether you want to acknowledge that or not. but And there's different ways of, of being creative. Absolutely. I mean, and and, and I, ju I, just, I just love what, you, what you've done here. Can you share with us um, maybe some samples yeah. of what you've done? Of and course. Um, I think you had mentioned your family earlier. Um, have they been reflected at all in, in your art? Yeah. Um, I, for example, um, I love them, but um, like this is um, just a piece dealing with being away from home. Oh, I see. And then the role um, that just coming from Montana in a rural location has played in my life. Um, this is my grandparents, and I love them, and I've always lived in the same town as my family. This is a magazine. It's now becoming quarterly because it is popular. It used to be, I think, biannually. I guess it's basically collage. Um, instead of keeping a diary of a journal of your emotions of your day, you're taking elements of that and then things that express it, like... Oh, instead um, of words, yeah, you, I mean, you, you express it in Yeah, and in you can art. use words, of course, um, if, that's, oh, okay. if that's your chosen method. But you can also add tickets um, from places you've oh, been, right. photographs, um, you know, if there's a leaf on a plant somebody gave you. I mean, all sorts of little elements of things that remind you of what's, of what's important, of events. Um, the amazing thing about it is there's no wrong way to do it. If you, um, if anyone ever were to look through this magazine, it's it's everything. I mean, there's no wrong way. <laughs> like there really isn't. Like um, you can just color blank pages. Well, you know what? I, I I I think that's so good to hear because a lot of people would say, "Oh, I'm not an artist mm -hmm. or I'm not creative." And yes. as you stated earlier, that's simply not true. No, and I mean, I'm not saying like. Everybody should go for a career as an artist because right. it's hard, and right? it's, um, it's hard. But but may I may I at this point yes. say that you are doing very well? I'm trying, and <laughs> and you've been recognized in our community. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I had a show last year in Praia, um, which would be my first solo international exhibition, which wow. just sounds cool. Do you hear what you're saying? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Um, and then we're also in the works of getting an exhibition in early next year in Angra, in the Angra Museum, um, which would be my Seven Social Sins series, which is based on Gandhi's concept of seven social sins. Um, and it's 21 pieces that I developed in 2010. 
So hopefully that will go through because that'd be fun too. <laughs> Would you consent to coming back after your exhibit and telling us about it. I mean, we I would, would love to. we would love to hear about yes, that and, and and I just uh, you know, would love to speak for the the largest community <laughs> and say how proud we are to have you here and oh, thank and, you. To, and to represent us to, um, in I the Portuguese that. community with your art. Well, so thank you. Um, I very much appreciate that. Wonderful and um, thank you for sharing. Yes. And uh, especially of uh, uh, talking with us about how art can actually yeah. affect your your mood, especially Definitely. if you are experiencing any kind of stress. Mm -hmm. um, that it, it's a real positive it's way. It's a positive. It's a healthy outlet. And um, as we touched on, you know, people do say, "I can't. I'm not an artist. I can't draw. I'm not artistic." But you don't have to be. I mean, get a piece of paper and have some oil pastels and just make lines, make patterns. Like, whatever comes out of you is right. acceptable. Like, you, you're not submitting it to anyone. Like, nobody has to see it but you. I like this. So, like, that's the thing. Like, you're not doing it for you. You're not doing it for the final product. You're doing it for the process. Yes. And it's the process that's healing and enjoyable. So. Thank, thank you so much yes. for sharing thank that. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, as we like to say, Ciao. Ciao. From Lodges. Ciao from Lodges now. Right. <laughs>